All right, let's look at this uh, last problem. Uh, determine the specific volume of superheated water vapor at this pressure and that temperature based on the ideal gas equation, the generalized compressibility chart, and the steam tables determine the air involved in the first two cases because we're assuming that the steam tables are the most accurate. That's the real value. All right, so part A, let's try PV equals RT. Pressure 3,500 kPa. The V is what we're looking for, the R. So I would go to uh, water, table A1. So uh, property tables, table A1. Are we in SI units? Yeah. Uh, table A1 for water down here, the R value 0. 0.4615 kPa meters cubed per kilogram. All right. So this is 0. 0.4615. KPA meters cubed per kilogram K and the temperature can't just plug in 450 450 um, plus 273 right 450 plus 273 723 alright and so I would get a specific volume 0 0.09533 meters cubed per kilogram meters cubed per kilogram so that is part A We'll find the error a little bit later on. All right, but what if we could use that uh, compressibility factor from table A15, that Z, um, and, and calculate a new V? Well, for the chart A15, we need PR and TR. PR is the actual P over the critical P, the actual T over the critical T. Uh, so I need to go back to table A1 and get the critical pressure and the critical temperature so property tables table a1 here are the critical point temperatures for water the second from the bottom right here uh, the temperature 647.1 and the pressure 22.06 now let's look at that mpa mpa okay 22.06 mpa so go back to our notes this was 22 uh 0.06 MPA. This temperature was 647.1 Kelvin. All right, my actual temperature is 723 Kelvin. My actual pressure is point, uh, sorry, 3.5 MPA. All right, so I would get the PR 0.159, TR 1.12. So I'm going to take these two values to table A15, a, a reduced pressure of 0.159, a reduced temperature of 1.12. And let's see what Z value that chart gives us. So go to property tables. Um, on mine, it's page 26. It is, um, or 25. Yeah, 25. Or 26. Um, it is right here, figure A15. Figure A15. All right, erase the last problem, and here's our new problem. What if we've got a reduced temperature of 1.12, a reduced pressure of 0.159? So I, I think we can we can look at the 0.16. Uh, so uh, we would need to look at the zoomed in one. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So right there, that last one is 0.16. So I'm going to follow that line right there. Let, let me go... Follow six seven. Let's see nine eight seven six nine eight seven six. So that line is what we're looking for. That's the PR of 0 0.159, right? Close, close to 0 0.159. And so now I need a TR of 1.12. Let's see, 1.0, 1 1.5, 1.10. All right. So it's in between this line. Let me follow the 1.1 line. And the 1.15, these really kind of converge here. Converge a little bit. See if I can follow. The, you see those two lines right there? Where do they cross? Where do they cross this? And if you've got this electronically, you can really look right there. Did you see that last dot? I drew right there. In between there, let's see if we're just going to say it's 0.9. Let's see. One, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, 
0.96. Mine might say 0.962 or a little bit above 0.96. All right, I'd probably give you nine seven and nine or and nine five, uh, but but I'm I'm going with a value of a z value of point nine six. Right, we're going to this axis uh, to see what compressibility factor we've got. It gives you an, another equation, you know, right there. Uh, in case you've forgotten, PV equals zrt. Uh, point nine six. All right, go back to our notes. From these two. Uh, Z value is about 0.96. Now we could take 0.96 and just multiply it right here, but but I don't mind doing this math one more time. 3500 V 0.96 0 0.4615273. I would get a V of 0 0.0916 meters cubed per kilogram. All right. So there is my um, part B. It when I used the um, idle gas with the compressibility chart. All right, but what if we had just used the steam tables? What if we had just used the superheated vapor tables? Vapor tables. Table A6. A pressure of 3.5 MPa. A temperature of 450 degrees C, table A6, property tables, let's go back to table, let's see, A456, a pressure of 3.5 MPA, okay, okay, awesome, we have one whole box just for pressure of 3.5 MPa, a temperature. Now, th these temperatures are in uh, Celsius. These temperatures are in Celsius. So I don't need 723. I need 450. Okay, and we're lucky this is just right here. So here are any values I want. And if I want the specific volume, 0 0.09198. 0 0.09198. And we're going to say that is the specific volume. That is the most accurate point, 0.09198 meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, so if if this is true, then what is the error right here? What is the error right here? 0 0.0916 minus 0 0.09198 divided by 0 0.09198. Uh, I've got an error of 0.4%, 0.4% error for the idle gas with the compressibility chart, as opposed to this error, 0 0.09533, 0 0.09198, divided by 0 0.09198, uh, I've got an error of 3.7%, 3.7%. Not bad, right? Not bad. Whoops. Uh, but we got it really close. Uh, by using the compressibility chart. All right. So when you have tables, use the tables. Uh, but sometimes you don't have tables. Sometimes, um, you know, instead of having hundreds and thousands of values in those tables, maybe a PV equals RT will work. Maybe it's close enough. Or maybe a PV equals RT plus that uh, chart on figure A15. Maybe that's good enough uh, to work so that we don't have to carry around, don't have to dig through all of those tables. All right, so that's how you can find the, um, and we'll just stick with finding the um, specific volume using idle gas and idle gas with compressibility. Uh, be ready for that on the test.